Toke zone and Flint there to cut off his man, but Fink took it away. Fitted in front and a point blank one-timer is denied by Parker Saka. And off to the left side and a shot there. Skips off the post and just up the near side wall. Where is it scrambled, but won by the Bandits back to the point. And they'll jam it to the left half wall. Aiden Fink shoots, saves Saka, rebound, put through the crease. It's still loose and they tap it in back door. And Brooks has a 1-0 lead. The initial shot skips off. Big reason why their players have so many goals. Now it's taken away by Beljo in the offensive zone. Drop back and the shot off the right post from Davide Patella. Yeah, right side by Sam Court, missed the target. Rolled out to neutral. Sam Huckle chased this one down. Carrion right wing on a short-handed rush. He shoots in a point-blank save made by Ethan Barwick. Now the carry-in by Brooks again. Fitzpatrick fires off the shoulder of Saka. Rebound shot, point-blank left pad save made by Parker Saka. On the carry back in again. Right side to Till, feeds it to the slot. It comes to Simchuk, point-blank shot. The Rebound shot, Saka stops them again as Patella is denied on a third chance opportunity for Brooks there. Zone for Ogotoks and then turned over here. The Bandits waltzing out in front. A point blank shot again denied by Saka. Loose in the near side of the crease and Saka's on top of it. Five to go in the first period. Now Brooks turns it over. Spack put it middle. One timer and misses the net from Sam Hawk. Brooks once again. Out to center ice they come. Off the bench was Yoder and the Oilers have too many men. Right point. Another chance here as they'll sweep it back to the high slot. Malinowski let it go left circle. One-timer Fink scores. Not sure how that snuck in. There was some traffic in front of Parker Saka. But while off balance, Fink just swat. Drop it off and McGowan dug it free. It'll roll to the point kept in by Brooks. But then turned over to Ty Yoder. He'll hustle the other way on a partial breakaway. Ty Yoder in with a backhander. He scores! Ty Yoder goes forehand to backhand and flips one home to give the Oilers some life late in the first period, cutting the deficit to 2-1 to one here. Captain with his of Brooks puts it right side to court. It was caught in his skates, but again, there was no pressure on him. Then he put it middle. It's picked off, carried back in by Ryan Newman, fed to the slot, backhander, Roland, he scores! What a takeaway by Ryan Newman. And then he finds Jackson Rowland streaking down the middle. He gets a step on a defender, flips a high backhander into the Brooks cage. The Oilers tie the game two to two. By Byer for Brooks. Fed it out to his own blue, and it'll be tipped free for Brendan Poshak to carry in two on one. Poshak right circle, fed it across. Fitzpatrick can't get a shot away as he stumbles over a fallen Parker socket. Thought he was offside. Huseman, he'll carry in right wing, shoot one right on. Rebound, bouncing to the crease. Two Oilers overskated, and then the third one in Ryland Brown like went off of Saka. We're like a mile away from that net, so I really couldn't tell you. Uh, it turns out it actually went off the post. Meyer, whose clearance was kept in by Brooks. They'll feed it side of the net. A breakaway backhand opportunity saved by Saka, and he'll go oh. further. Bandits take it back, barely on side again. They'll give it right wing for the carry in by Hunter Wallace. Dropped it back in a chance, wide open. Backhander scores. Well, it was bound to happen eventually, as again, Brooks just skate to the middle of the ice with utter impunity. And that time, Saka had already gone down. Side for the carry in by Huey Hooker. Got around a defender and fires one from the high slot. And the save is made by goaltender Saka. And then Hooker collapses down to the ice. Laptop here. Hooker was okay. And are they calling a Brooks player for a penalty now? Eight middle of the blue line. Put it left side. Sam Huck shoots it. Pad save. Rebound. Spack had it caught in the skates. Newman poking at it. Still loose in front. Newman shoots it. It's a save made by Barwick. Still loose for Huck. Put it to the goal line. And it didn't go in. Another chance. Yoder shot it wide. Then back in front by Spack. And it's pounced on by Barwick. Headed four shots on goal for Okotoks on that sequence as we're getting another look at it on the big screen here. One of those went off the right post. Side Saka back across, and here's Brown stopping at the circle and firing right on. Rebound, Roland digging at it, can't get a shot through, and the loose puck is gotten at by Fink. And puts it across, and it'll be dropped back. High slot, Malinowski shoots and scores. What a waste of time. Well, it'll be a 4-2 Brooks lead, and they'll still have 28 seconds. Bandits collect, get it right circle to Wallace, fed in front, tipped on goal, save, rebound, just tip wide left of the net by Beljo. Comes and to Fink, left half wall, back up top it comes, shot, fed side of the net, backhander, save Saka, point blank denying Beljo. Who carrying up by shorthanded here, chips into the offensive zone, dangles out in front, turns with it, and he couldn't get a shot away as it just rolled Doing in with it. Bandits the other way on the carry in by Patella. He takes a high hit, but dropped it back, and the shot's right on Saka from Dario Beljo. 
out of his reach. Then it's taken away in front by Newman. Turns and shoots, and a good save by Barwick. Pucks never covered. Ball, but by a closer margin than you'd expect for a team that's missing this many key individuals, they drop this one by a 4-2 final score to the Brooks Bandits, and we'll need some big wins next weekend to preserve playoff positioning against the Drumheller Dragons. Post